and welcome to the next stream of this stream here on Dexterity Box. Why is my audio going? There we go. Hang on. Hang on, guys. We have an audio issue. I'll be back in two seconds. And I am back. That was a little bit of fun there. I had many windows open because I was messing about on my computer sorting all this stream out and the news breaks that we have just signed De Cruz, Alessio De Cruz, who has been rumoured since yesterday, since that awful Wigan match. I've not read this yet. I've just got it up. I thought we could go over it together and have a little read of it together. So... The Owls have signed Dutch forward Alessio de Cruz, de Cruz even on a loan deal to the end of the current campaign. He's 23, can play as a central striker or down the flank and joins Wednesday from Serie A side Palmer. From what I've looking into it, I've looked into this today already, I don't really think he's a central striker. I think they've put that because we need a striker and we might not be getting Wickham. He's mainly a winger. That's basically what I've seen of him. The Almere product spent the first half of the season on loan in the Italian second tier with Ascoli, for whom he played 18 games and scored six goals with as many assists, which is not bad. We need goals. That could help. Netherlands under 20 and international. Um, he's told Wednesday that he's always been his dream to play in England. We seem to be getting a lot of that lately with our new players. The fan base, his appeal to it. Oh, is, is he mentioned we're massive anywhere in there? He hasn't, actually. He likes to play as a second striker or a winger. Okay. That was very Forest Jerry when he first came to us, that sort of second striker sort of thing. I am a creative player with pace and looking forward to meeting my teammates and staff. I want to be involved straight away if possible and I am ready to play. He's eligible to play against Millwall. Millwall could be a big one this weekend. Millwall are a team that we need to be beating now, especially because we've just lost to Wigan. So... We'll see how that one develops. I just thought it was something worth mentioning because obviously we've not actually spoke about transfers in a little while on this channel. So we will come back to anything like that. If you've got any questions on transfers you want me to talk about, just let me know things like that and we can have a little chat about all of that there. But the main source of everything today is we're going to get back in to this Wednesday career mode that we have started last week. We started by taking over from Gary Monk at the start of the season and we are building it up. We are in pre-season at the minute. We're still messing about with the side. We've not actually played a competitive match yet because this game takes the mick on how long it takes to actually build anything up. So we're going to give it a good go. Let's have a look where we were. So yeah, we are currently the 25th of July. So we're coming closer to the start of the season we're creeping just there we've got some friendly some more friendlies coming up so we're going to blast our way through them as well Tuan Zede was somebody that came in last um stream one of your suggestions was Tuan Zede he would be decent very decent but I don't think we could actually bring him in premier division premier league level apparently okay they want 100% of success as wages, and we've just not got that in the budget, unfortunately. We really need a player like that, though, for this side. 
and they won't loan out Glenn Murray because I didn't actually mean to send that, I don't think. So that's not going to happen either. Cancel that offer. That's a bit frustrating, but we've got to go for it. Let's keep this going to the next friendly. I hope my audio is a little bit better today, guys. Let me know in the comments if it's not. Um, I turned it up because we had a few comments on the video afterwards that it was a little bit low. So I've actually turned the um, live feed of the audio going in while the signal is a lot hotter this time, which can go one of two ways. I have got compression on this, but it could either be really good or really bad. So just let me know. Hopefully you guys can hear me. That would be ideal. Ipswich are going after Aaron Connolly. I do want Aaron Connolly. Could we get Troy Parrott? Because apparently Wednesday you're actually linked with Parrott. What would our... If we scouted him, what would our player, uh, our um, scouts say about him? It'd be interesting to bring him in because that is one that's looking like it could happen in real life. I do want to bring Connolly in as well, though. We do need goals, and that's what we currently haven't got. They need 100% of his wages. And they won't let us pay it. They just won't let us pay the full wages. Where's the budget? Because if they're going to let us pay that for success... Oh, wait. If we bring that all the way down, just take the fee off it. If I just take... Why am I not just doing that to zero? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Okay. And then... Suggest terms. I want to give you all his wages. But I can't. Wage budget. I don't... I, I need a bit more than £50 pounds in the budget, unfortunately. That's that's the issue. Oh, we can. We can. We can. We can. 100%. 100%. Let's try and do that. We need a striker. Let's keep going. So we've gone in for him as well. That's just gone through. I'm going to skip the briefing for this for this preseason because I'm not that arsed about it. We just need to get through it now, get the fitness up. That is the aim of the match today. Always. Okay, I thought my stream had gone down for a second there. It's not. Cool. Sammy Boy has been doing well in training. So we're going to praise his training. And we're going to have a go at Fletcher for not being so great in training. He liked that, though. He liked it when I was very strict with him. Okay, the offer for Connolly is accepted, so it depends if he wants to come to us or not. Luongo's not quite ready yet. I am afraid I can't do this, so we're going to have to make that offer. That's all we can offer, I'm afraid, for success. I've just realised Wednesday bringing up a sign-in just before I go live is going to tank any viewing figures I was going to get today, boys and girls, but we'll go with it. So Fox is injured. I have to bring him off the bench, put Palmer in. I'm going to put Palmer there, actually, for Thornley. Because I would like to... Oh, no, actually. Oh, no. Adabadja's really bad on that side. Really bad. Okay. I want to build some of um, Palmer's match fitness up, so we're going to go like that. Yeah, that's how we're going to do it. We really could do with no injuries going forward because injuries are what's going to cost us this season if we're going to do anything assertive impress me friends i need you to do well we're gonna we're gonna go at ultimate speed through these i'll slow it down when we actually get to the competitive matches but these are just obviously one of those get the match fitness up at the start of the season i do want to get well into the sit well not well into it but i do want to get going in the season a bit more today so we can actually get some competitive matches get some points on the board hopefully we are defending a corner earlier on here are they actually a real side? Are they one of the ones that have been licensed? I'm not that great on international football, so I couldn't tell you half of the time who 
certain sides are meant to be. It's not always the most obvious thing if they actually are a copy. Oh, that was a bloody good save there. Murphy whacking it from the right. We should be scoring though, boys. 15 minutes in. Can we, can we get a bit of a goal, Forestieri? No. Four shots. Four shots to four. It's a very even game. Quite open this at the minute. But we are... It does seem like we are getting a good amount of chances. We need to finish those there. Because look at that again. Three on target. Not gone in yet. Postma. They have a player called Postma. Okay. I've not... I realised I've not... Is that Odegaard? That is Odegaard. I've realised that we have not um, marked anyone. So this could be quite fun. Borna picks up a yellow for his troubles there. Yes, we do need to close Odegaard down. But Jacob Murphy gets a goal on the 27th minute. Murphy is firing for us in this. If only... Well, he did score yesterday. But it wasn't the result we all wanted, was it? It really wasn't. I could have gone a lot better. I'm surprised nobody's come on crying about that yet because I just think we're all done with it now. It is the Wednesday thing. The the losing run that Wigan were on, they would come out and beat Wednesday. It, it was typical Wednesday that it would happen. But hopefully my Wednesday in this game can be a little bit better. Do a little bit better with these players. Oh, Harris gets a second from the cross there. So our wingers have both got goals today. Balls from Bannon, great ball. Murphy, is it winger to winger this? Murphy whacks it round and Harris sends the... Well, the keeper's got no chance there. Puts the ball into the bottom right. Half-time 2-0 wouldn't be too bad. So let's try and keep a clean sheet, shall we, boys and girls? As we get out towards half-time. We have to close Timmermans down. Fine, I haven't done any tactical stuff at this match anyway, so... Got to keep Palmer in this because his match sharpness is awful. Don't let your performance levels drop. Murphy's not happy with that, but the rest of the squad is, so we'll go with the rest of the squad. Adebayo to Forestieri. And that is a throw-in. Hello, Felix. Yes, we are all Wednesday, mate. Unfortunately... Yeah, just unfortunately. I think that's a gen genuine vibe, isn't it? Just a general sort of vibe of being a Wednesday fan. It kind of um, grates you after a little while. I've had many years of it. It's not the best. Bound into Harris. Can we actually do anything in this second half? Get it going a little bit more? He also whacks it in. Adebayo. Fletch is there. Fletch is offside. Right, okay. Do we need to make some changes? We are around the lower 70% now in terms of player fitness. Let's have a look. Might bring a sub on now because there is still people that are really lacking match sharpness like Kieran Lee, for example. If Bannon's complacent, we'll bring him off. Bring Kieran Lee on for now. I just don't want... To to him to pick up an injury because if Bannon does pick up a knock um, Kieran Lee is our replacement for him so we don't have that much squad depth well quality squad depth that's the problem we've got depth but the players are all pretty much the same and there's not much you can really rotate with this squad unfortunately Murphy whacks it out it's still alive Kieran Lee's on the edge of the box there we're just dinking it about at the minute Adam Badger, can he get it in Harris Palmer, left back, went for an absolute screamer. Didn't quite get it. We've got 21 shots, 8 on target. Longstaff's going for a free kick there. Eorfa picks it back up. I'm just going to make a couple more changes. Felix, do I think we can climb back into the top six? It's difficult because, yes, easily this is the point. This league is here for the taking this season however we are not capitalizing on that the players just seem to throw away the stupidest of victories like Wigan should have been shut yesterday we should have shut it down and if we keep doing that which is what we've shown I don't think these players 
have got the bottle for it. I don't know. Maybe it's a case of they know that if we got promoted, there's some of them that wouldn't see any game time and they'd never see another contract and they feel like they're best off keeping this chub, uh, club in the championship because then, I don't know, they'd get another contract to get us out of it. Maybe they've got into that sort of, oh, we're gonna be, we'll always be a team that's there and thereabouts. But if we really put the effort in... I guess one of my examples is if you look at a promotion team, if you look at a championship team in terms of like the Premier League at the minute, if you look at Klopp, for example, as a manager, those players are all running for the manager. They will not stop running. Their legs will go for as long as the manager wants. That won't last forever. But I don't think it's Monk's fault that there's been like three managers and none of these players have wanted to work for the manager since like the early Carlos days. There's been no hunger there and it's it's frustrating me. And frustrating a lot of us, I think. We're just a bit fed up of it. I'll actually make these substitutions now and chat about this while it carries on. But I'm just... Yes, we can make the top six. But I don't see this squad doing it unless there's some serious mentality changes. Maybe with this new signing we've just made. Maybe if we do a little bit more business, we can actually find the players to get us there. But right now, no, I don't think this squad have got the bottle to, to fight for promotion and... They've always had the ability. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just fed up. I I came to stream today. I like when I was watching the match yesterday. I was like, I'm gonna come on stream today and probably get asked about Wigan. And I just felt so deflated. I was just sick of football. And that's what Wednesday, being a Wednesday fan does to you. But we beat Millwall, and I'll be back on the we're going up juice. So that's how fickle football fans are as well, mate. That was a decent win, but we could have got a few more goals there. I don't know why that demotivated them. It's a pre-season game. Get a goal and get a grip. So we're doing a lot of physical outfield work. There's too many rests in this. Darren Fletch is available on a free. Hmm... He is a ball-winning midfielder. If we don't have to pay a lot for him, I'd actually... I'd actually like him as squad backup. Let's have a look. See what he's, he's looking at. Oh, I'm not changing. I'm not giving you promises, Fletcher. Piss off. You're 35 years old. Maybe the old Wednesday would have done that, but we're not doing it now. He has got a red court, card. Cord. Can't speak tonight, clearly. Standard when I come on stream, obviously. Let's put all these out for the first team. Make them available for the under-23s, just because we need some game time for them. Oh, this success thing keeps coming back in. And they just keep saying no, which is quite annoying. Right, yeah, that's a good shout, actually, De Cruz. What is his FIFA stats? Let's bring it up. You said it looks really good, right. Let's have a look at this then, shall we? That's not amazing. <laughs> I've seen better FIFA cards. 77 pace for a winger. Jesus. He's shooting as well. Shot power 75. Long shot 65. That's awful. His strength... Oh, th that's awful. I wonder if he'd get an upgrade coming to us. Probably a downgrade with our form at the minute. Um, which is interesting. But yeah, has he ever had a decent card? FIFA 1960. Oh, is, is his first silver this year? You never know. You never know. Matthias was like a 75 rated gold when he came to us. And he didn't, do, he didn't like rip any trees up, did he? So I guess it's all depending on how he actually plays when he comes to us. We've got to give him a chance. A lot of fans, 
fans are already writing him off without watching him play, so I'm not going to be one of those. Got to give him time in the shirt, so... So look what's going on here. Choose the Wednesday captain. I already did this. I made Bannon the captain. So I'm just going to keep that. Jack Stobbs is out on loan doing all right. No, I'm not going to move Forestieri because I'm not using him as a striker. Winnell can get retrained, that's fine. And so can Reach, that's fine as well. Put Bullen on more defensive duties. We have got a lot of potential in this squad though, that's what's still quite promising about it to be honest. Yeah, Aiden, Monk's press conference yesterday, I agree. I was actually like, he's been trying to defend his players for over a month, and you can tell, you could tell with the frustration, he was going to look like an idiot if he kept protecting those players. When it's clearly, it's just clearly those players needed to to do a lot better. Oh look here, Tommy Miller. He's seventy three, but his his skills they're amazing. Can we bring him in? Contract. Approach to sign. Three years, sure. Sure. Come and join us. That's cheap. It's 17, 17, 19. That would be amazing. Uh, Sam, we, we just had a look at the lone guy on FIFA... 20 we are we can have a look here and see if he's actually in this yes he is he's in my loaded game what valued at 1.6 million here let's have a look at him let's send a scout out for him you never know he might be a wonder within our football manager career here so let's let's have a look at him but yeah if you want to see a bit more we've chatted about him we opened the stream with the news about the signing so feel free to go back scroll through and have a look there and then catch up with us later David Bates picked up an injury perfect why am I even keeping him at the club I think I'll just keep him for some backup at centre back at the minute we're edging closer to the start of the season why are my players resting so much Okay, Dinofalo has got this. Um, he'd be one for the youth, surely. But he can only be a Sky Bet what, League One player. Why would I want that? Paulson. <laughs> We're definitely going to try and get him if we get to um, the Premier League at some point. And loan at Man City. From Man City. Which means we can't get him yet. we got a lot of scout reports coming back here. So let's have a look at some players. Another one. Is he Brown? Oh, he's gone to Luton. Nanny. That's annoying. Okay, scout it. Let's go through these real quick. Yeah, none of them actually stood out for me. We haven't actually sold any players yet. Oh, no, we have. We sold Nuiu. We got over a million for Nuiu as well. So we didn't do too bad there on that deal. Let's have a look at our situation coming up. So Bates is on the bench. I'm going to put Luongo there. Let's go to the training. I just want to change it a little bit. I want to do some more. I like attacking work. I'm a very attack-minded football manager player. So I like technical work as well. So we're definitely going to put a bit of that in there. Do I think we beat City, Sam? I don't think we'll beat City unless they play all their kids. And even then, 
I'm not a hundred percent sure we'd beat City. It's um, it's a bit of a difficult one. I don't think my chat is showing up in the actual screen. This should be. I think I've changed stream key, guys. So apologies if you can't see the chat on the screen. This uh, stream this video. I'll make sure that's all sorted for next week. It's because I've changed the stream layout just to make sure it's all good. So if you can't see other people's chat apart from in the box, it should be coming up on the screen. So if you're watching the video after this, apologies if you don't know what I'm chatting about because you won't have the full chat unless you're looking at the live chat. But I do try and get the chat overlaid on the screen. That'll be back in action next week if it's not there. I can't see it, so I don't think it's come through. Um, loan offer for Grant. He's one of the youth ones. I'll just let them all go. I just need them to get some playing time if we're ever going to get some wonder kids going through. Um, let's keep going to the start match. Luan goes back. Paulson's obviously mint, so is he. Dexterity to make managerial debut at Reading. Going to bring in a new scout as well. Perfect. Well, I need his wages, mate. Otherwise, you can sort off. We are literally up shit creek without a paddle at the minute, so I need wages. We've got no money. Okay. Got a new scout. Awesome. Asking to recommend a sign-in. Aiden Green says, did you see Rhodes' stats against QPR? 78 minutes, zero shots, five received passes, and two touches in the opposition box. I guess one thing about Rhodes is you could say that people still think he's got that pedigree, so he gets closed down, which would make sense for the fact that he's not getting a chance. That's me being nice. Maybe he is just over the hill, which hurts me to say, because I've always rated him, and I always wanted him in a Wednesday shirt. It's just not going right for him, is it? Let's attend this press conference for Reading. Most pundits suggest that Sam Hutchinson's performance will be the key factor in determining whether you have a successful season or not. Is that a fair assessment? Well, I'm going to be quite calm about that. I think our, stru uh, I think our squad is a strong one, but clearly Sam has enormous quality and will be a massive contributor to any success we have. Yeah, he's going to be on the bench most of the season, I can imagine talking about the start of the season there the transfer window slams shut in just a few days are you still looking to do business in that time well my friend darren clark we have shit all in terms of transfer funds so that would be lovely but i don't think it's going to happen so do i tell the truth or do i bait all the wednesday fans in the virtual <laughs> wednesday fans things can happen so quickly i'm going to be cautious can you talk about the rumors linking you with bristol city's callum adoa usually when they say that i go let's actually scout them now i have no idea i don't know where this story has come from the break went well that's all just boring manager talk let's actually get on with it shall we let's go to the briefing Watch them all go, oh, I hate your formation. I hate your mentality. Oh, they haven't done that yet. Okay. Let's have a look who Redden have got. Oh, Redden have got Zhao, haven't they? Yeah, Zhao's up front. I mean, you could just not mark him and we'd probably be all right. But let's mark Pushkash. Um, going quite hard on him on tackles. You want to press him as well. You can stick a man on Zhao, but I'm not too f f fussed about him. Watch him score a hat-trick now. We'll also press him, show him to his weaker foot. It looks like they're going to play with overlapping fullbacks as well, so let's keep an eye on them. End the meeting. Thornley's injured just a knock. Okay. We're going to have to put Iorfa out because he's suspended, so can't start that partnership just yet. Let's bring in... Yeah, let's bring in Tom Lees for now. It's annoying that I have to take it off or out straight away. But this is why we've got other 
players. That's why I want a squad depth. Amazing. So, signing. Aaron Connolly agrees the loan move. And we're only paying 5k a week for him. That will be a great little loan for us there. Let's have a look. Let's just go a bit further forward. Amazing. So, he's, he's a three-star rated potential Premier League striker. He's not quite at Fletcher's level at the minute, but if Fletcher gets injured, we've now got an option. I'm going to take Rhodes off the bench and put Connolly on there. I also really want to ship Rhodes out, so we need to have a look a, li look a little bit more at that. He is transfer listed, isn't he? Just get him out of the club, mate. He's on ridiculous wages. Anyone want him for 500k? Just take him and take the wages off us, please. Three hundred and seventy-five from Birmingham. Oh, I'm not paying you that much. I'll pay ten grand of his wages just to free up our wage bill. I assume that's just for this season. for the duration of their current contract. Hmm. Okay, cool. So a bit more money. We've got him off the wage bill mainly. We're helping them with the wages, but it gets him away. Frees up 25 grand as well. Looks like the championship kicked off and Middlesbrough beat Luton there. It's not what actually happened in real life. I remember watching that the start of the season. So top half of the championship is the expectation. FA Cup, fourth round minimum. League Cup, third round minimum. Garner's just joined Coventry on loan. He's really interested, isn't he? They don't want to pay any... Oh... Sod it. Fine. If you're going to play him, fine. Okay. Let's just save because it's just habit. I don't know why I always save before a match. I think it's corrupt save files in the past on FIFA and stuff. I've always done my nutting. And I shouldn't have done that, actually, because we haven't saved in quite a little while. Do you mean in real life, Sam, that all our good players are injured? That does seem to be the way, but I do think we have got kind of a clean injury bill at the minute. It's just he's not playing him. He's not wanting to play them. I wanted a positive mentality. Why has that changed without me doing anything? Right, go out and attack them. Oh, we haven't given the squad numbers yet. 4, 16, submit numbers. So this is... Oh, I didn't know it highlighted the new transfers. So it highlights the new transfers on both sides. We've got five new transfers starting today. I expect to win. Get out there and score some goals, friends. Let me just... Uh, I just want to slow this down now because we've got it going very fast. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe we can do it a little bit faster. We don't need it to be so slow, do we? As long as I can see it. Just because this, otherwise this career could go on for absolutely ever and we will get the, um, the highlighted footage as well. Seems we're just passing it at the start of this. We're not actually... Attacking much until Murphy gets through. Oh, what a save. What a save. Can we do something from the corner? Follow-up corner. No, we're dinking about on the side of the box, but we get it back across. It's going back out. Come on, boys. Do not send it all the way back. Attack. Murphy is offside. That is unfortunate. Palmer goes to Harris. Harris chips it across, but Richards picks it up. We've got to keep pressing there. Oh, no. Don't let him through there. We did... 
fortunately set the things to get push cash and get round him so we managed to nick it off him there but he was through we should not be letting that happen otherwise we are going to be in trouble hello nicola i've got a lot of friends at sport liverpool i live there for quite a while so that is a good shout welcome to the stream Raphael Cabral is there, goalkeeper. I want a little bit more from these boys. Demand a bit more. Come on, we need a goal. Fletcher's through. Fletcher gets a goal. Is the start of the championship. It is a opening goal from Stephen Fletcher. The ball through Forestieri slips it through to Fletcher. Fletcher smacks it. The goalkeeper just stands there and watches. Absolutely nothing he can do about it. And Wednesday are in the lead. 1-0 away from home at Reading. Moved up to fourth position they've picked up a knock so they have made a change there but Zhao is through Zhao is he going to come back and punish us he doesn't we are playing out from the back that is the style we are going on yes Jack if your name is Jack it is very confusing considering your handle is Nicola but I'll try and remember I will not remember every week if you come back though just saying we have picked up a knock at the back there is it going to require a substitution I don't know but Pushkash he nearly he nearly gets the equaliser there that would not have been a good one Borna I can't have you injured mate you need to run it off it does appear to be one of those that is coming back through because his sharpness is going back up so it is just a bruise so he can carry on which is decent Zhao we need to shut him down now Zhao is actually looking a little bit dangerous we need to be finishing that one off there might have to put a man on Zhao as well to be fair because he's getting through all oh, they are on the attack now they are on the attack we kind of got away with the few there Don't get complacent out there. We need to do a lot better. That's what I basically wanted to say. That's the one I was looking for. Let's put a um, a man on Zhao. Oh, we have already got a man on Zhao. Let's try and get him on his weaker foot because at the minute he is he is giving us some quite quite interesting problems. They have had three shots on target. They have been well in for it. They've had more shots than us. We've just been more clinical. Push cash. No, I was talking about clinical. And Westwood has to make a save. I'm going to go to a balanced mentality. We need to start pulling this back a little bit more. We aren't that great on the ball at the minute. We, we need to be a bit more focused. Keep the ball. Keep some possession play. Redding do look threatening, especially when Xiao gets thrown. Oh, no, Lucas Xiao, what are you doing? He wasn't even that bloody Redding at this time. You are having a laugh. <sighs> okay, we've got to go back out. L let's attack him. We need to be winning this, boys. Need to be winning this. We've got the players. Just need to show it. Murphy, what's the keeper doing there? Doesn't get to it. Adabaggio's got it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Bring it out. Forestieri. Forestieri. <gasps> oh, just wide. Just wide. No, Zhao. I was through again. He makes the save. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to make some changes, see what I can do. Oh, I don't like this at all. Aaron Connolly. Oh, do, I don't want to bring Fletcher off, though. Fletcher's done well so far. I'm going to bring... Harris is not having an amazing game, so I'm going to bring Reach on for him and see if we can just get ahead at the minute. I don't like this. Oh, just... just we need to take Zhao out. He needs to get taken out. Press him. Going hard because he's doing me nothing now. I don't like this. I just... Oh, this is... um interesting this is where big dave comes in handy unfortunately i sold him <laughs> we needed the money and somebody offered me over a million for him right we're gonna make some subs we're gonna bring on oh shit i didn't put my uh i didn't put thornley on the bench so we've not got a backup left back let's put connelly and on connelly on for fletcher And put hmm. I don't know. We've got nobody that can call it fullback. We're just gonna have to do 
because we're getting overwhelmed in the midfield now, Longstaff, I'm going to put Luongo on. We need a little bit more control in that midfield. We are. We're struggling. But can Connolly come on and make an immediate impact? He didn't get through to the ball. No! What? When did they put him on? I'm just saying, when I did my personal career on this, this is not how it went. I thrashed Reading with my Wednesday side. Then as soon as I start streaming it, look what happens. It's the same team as well, the same setup. That is appalling. That is appalling. Adebagio to Luongo. Bannon. Connolly! Connolly! Ah! We need the goal. Lee's. Come on, boys. We've been... This is just Wednesday. See, they're not even doing it for me. They won't do it for Monk. And they're not doing it for me. Palmer to Bannon, Forestier. Connolly's running on it, though. That is appalling. I am going to throw things at you. You useless, useless people. Bourne has got a knock. I'm just going to be a salty manager in the press conference, as I should be. That is, yeah, I agree, Aiden. This is literally that was literally an example of how Wednesday are at the minute. Should be winning it. 62% possession. Absolutely bottle it. We deserve more than that, though. Keep things in perspective. Right. Bannon did really well. 12 kilometers. And yes, Jack, um, Jao did play for us. He played for us at this time, so technically... Shouldn't have lost that because he was actually a Wednesday player who got the goal for us like a week before he moved to Reading. He beat Reading for us and then went to them. It was quite funny, actually. Right. In training, you're all... You're not getting a rest. Work on how to actually finish, please. Because you can't finish your dinner at the minute. And then go on there. Training calendar. Defending engaged. Defending disengaged. Attacking direct because we go through the middle a lot. And then I want a bit more technical work. They just need to learn to finish this week because at the minute they are not. Gotta pick it up against Barnsley this week. Ah, their manager admits that we were the better team. Yes, we were. We bossed it, but they did have more chances. This is frustrating. Let me have a look at what we're actually doing at the minute. Right, focus play. Okay, I like higher possession. Higher tempo. I like to play through the middle, because that's where we're the strongest. Yeah, that's pretty much what we, we can do. We do need Hooper back, Jack. That would be quite nice. Three red cards. Right, okay, so we've just had a comment from Aiden saying that our new signings had three red cards in 15 games. Yeah, it is Sam Hutchinson Mark II. It'd be great, just with a fancier name, a less British name. He's coming on. He'll get many, many red. Well, they can share them out, and when one's suspended, the other one can come in. But for a winger, three red cards, what is he doing? We've got to batter Barnsley. We've got to batter them. They're second. They must have won. It's ridiculous. We've got a lot of training in this week. So they're going to be moaning. Yeah. 
if you can think people... Oh, Nikita's still at Leeds, isn't he? I want him in this side. Onoma. Oh, he's got worse on this game. He used to be great. Scout more freeze. We haven't really got money for other players. We're not going to sign Will Grigg. He could be worth one for the future. So apparently De Cruz had a fight with his teammate. That's possibly why we've got him on loan. Do you remember when the rumours with Forestieri and Winnell having a scrap? All that... All the way that did. Um, what all the way that did? That's not even English. It's because I started reading one of your comments halfway through that. Um, that kind of meant that we had players frozen out of the side. That could be what happened with the new signing. If he had a bit of a scrap, he's been like, right, off you go. And we've got apparently we've got a right to buy at the end of the loan spell with the crew. So it'll be interesting to see if we do it. Right. Let's have a look at player search. Interested in loan. Hmm. Aaron Lennon. What a loan that would be. For for the championship, that'd be a hell of a loan. I can't see him actually wanting to come to us though, unfortunately. We don't I don't want a director of football. Andy Rhodes. He used to work for us. He used to be our goalkeeping coach. And now he's unemployed. transfer deadline day boys and girls I don't think much is going to happen to be honest if I'm quite honest with you because we've got no money I'll take part but we've got no money let's have a look transfers scouting scout player Sam Byram not right now Palmer's not out for long, I don't think. I don't think he's out for long at all. I don't remember, though. I've not actually... That's a good shout, actually. I should probably... I should probably know that. I don't... I don't remember him. it looking like he was going to be out for that long, though. Kenny McLean. Let's have a look. I really need a signing, please. Well, he's worth 14.25 million and he can play as an advanced playmaker. I haven't got time to scout him. We could just take a risk on him and bring him in because we need we need players. He's worth he's valued at 14 million. So Oh, this is so blind, but it's transfer deadline day and we need players loan offer. Okay. Let's go in for the loan. Junior Hoylet. He could be a shout. Reports. Have we got any scout report on him at the minute? Nope. I need attacking players at the minute, Aiden. That's who I'm looking for. So, Junior Hoylet, maybe. What's Aaron's doing? Or is he still crap? Oh, he's at Wickham. We got any reports on him whatsoever? 
we really should have. I sent the report out for him ages ago, but he could be another one we blindly go for because we need more options on the wing. I need more players to come on and change a game. What? I don't want a short-term loan. Loan. Why won't you let me? Well, I'm going to make the offer anyway, so. Yeah, Vardy's not going to happen, is it? Let's actually have a look. Like, Vardy for us. With no money. No money. This is the point I'm on. We've got no money and is worth 18 million, 140 grand a week. I'd love it, but no. Um, let's have a look. So Aiden says, Shankland. Is that even a real name Are you having me on? No, a real person. Oh. Uh, I've got no scouts. I could cheat and see what his rating is. I've got football manager editor. I could. I could see him. Would they loan him? For three grand. It they won't the board won't even let me pay pay his wages. So we're gonna have to come back for him later, but I'll I'll scout him. We'll keep an eye on him. Okay, so the McLean offer's gone through. We will sell, sell Jordan Rhodes if we can get him gone. Squad registration. Who have I not registered? Connolly. He needs to be registered. Confirm selection. I can't loan Vardy. He's on 140 grand a week. Sorry. Um, Rhodes set to sign for Birmingham. That's going to give us a bit more money, which will be decent. Sorry it didn't work out, friend. Bye. Swansea have signed Darren Fletcher. Why won't he let me offer the money? For him, I don't understand. Because, like, we're not... There is a limit of zero short-term loans. It's not a short-term loan. It's just not. Because the loan is till the end of the season. Okay. It doesn't really make any sense. Mason Greenwood. Will he even be an option? Let's have a look. Because I know Mason Greenwood. Okay. I'm not going to scout any of these players. So, I'm just going to give it a go. Good evening, Scott. How are you doing, buddy? Um, Leighton, we'll have a look at... Mate, we'll see if we can go in for an offer for him. He's apparently got first team commitments for the club. So, that's not going to happen. We'll make the offer anyway, because it's transfer deadline day. Why not? Rhodes has just gone. We got less than 500k for him. And we're paying part of his wages. What a signing he was. Um, oh. Oh, forget Greenwood. Forget Greenwood. Who's Jones, Jack? We'll have a look for you, Jack. Jones. Curtis Jones. I'm not finding him. I've not found him, so let's have a look if I put Curtis J, J in. J Do you mean Jones? Is he on loan from Liverpool? Yeah. 
We'll have a look at him for the future, but he's currently at a level a little bit too low for us. Odegaard is the classic, isn't he? But he's on loan as well, so we won't be able to get him. He's valued at 15 million. That's insane. Um, I think we've got enough money to go in for success now. Who is a beast. So if we make an offer, loan offer. Oh, can we still not afford his wages? Are you having a laugh? How can we still not afford his wages? 80%. We'll pay 80% of his wages. Please do it. You got Adam Lallana on a season loan. Did you use many cheats? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay, we'll loan Mason Greenwood if you'll let us. Please. Please. Oh, they've accepted the loan offer for him. I'm just going to stall. Oh, I can't stall it. I can't stall it. In the chat now, really quick, I'm going to give you like 30 seconds. Greenwood or McLean? McLean is proven and he would be an actual decent signing for us. I don't know how Greenwood, good Green was it, Greenwood is even. And he might not accept the loan move. He might not want to do it. So let me know, like, right now what I should do. Should I go for McLean from Norwich or Greenwood from Man United? I'm going to wait because there's a stream delay. So I'm just going to sit here as you all type away real quickly. Because if it goes on for more than a minute, I'm going to have to make a decision. But Greenwood's quite happy. Dream world. Do you mean Greenwood? Um, He would be a good one, wouldn't he? McLean is more realistic. I do agree with that. I do agree with that. I play attacking. And we've got McLean who can come in as that. We've got a, um advanced playmaker role. He would, I would sit him in that a little bit more. Greenwood is currently... If we, look at, if we are looking at it from a realism standpoint now, Greenwood is currently playing for Man United in real life. He is getting game time. So I don't know. I don't know. I've, I can see McLean from people, and I can see Greenwood from people. We haven't got a deciding vote yet. McLe McLean, though, he would be... Because Greenwood can literally just play in that up-top role, can't he? Oh, he can drop back a little bit. But he is more of a case of... Yeah, I've signed Connolly for that. I've signed Connolly to be our advance forward. So McLean is probably the better option. I think that's making my mind up, to be honest. Because McLean can do midfield as well. He can be an attacking midfielder and a defensive midfielder. And he's got championship experience. Yeah, I've made my mind up. He's, we're going we're gonna to sign McLean. I need that sort of option. Let's see what happens. I haven't got enough money for success. I'm sorry. That's really annoying because he got me up on one of my careers when, I did, when I've been playing this on my own. Oh, can we get him as well? Yeah, that's true. We've confirmed the deal. If they can both happen, that would be amazing because we could actually take the money out and buy them both. Have them both on loan even. Well, we've got Greenwood in. We've got it. We did it. It's the start of the season. Back in time. Yes, Greenwood. We're going for it. So we've got Greenwood in. We just went for it. Are we going to get the other one in or is he sat on his thumbs a little bit more oh no we've confirmed that as well we're delighted her having that I think he can do great things here that's Kenny so we've got two signings that is two good loan signings I'll take that we don't have to sign players to be in order to be successful yes we really do in real life yes we really do let's have a look who we've got so who am I bringing off here Mason Greenwood versus Stephen Fletcher. 
Stephen Fletcher is currently better in the role. But Mason Greenwood is definitely someone I'm going to bring in. Because he plays more of an advanced forward. We've then got... We've got Kenny McLean who can come and be a very, very, very good sort of midfielder for us. Can he play in most of those roles as well? He can, so who do I take off? We'll take off Luongo. And Kenny McLean can come in for us. Oh, I need to register. Register these players. In. 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 I didn't sell Winnell, no, Aiden. I kept Winnell. Because Winnell can actually score goals on this, so if we pick up injuries, I want him. Honestly, Scott, we haven't got enough money, unfortunately. We've... Because obviously Wednesday get hit with the... You get there and they've got no budget. I sold Nuiu. I've sold Rhodes. But still, they weren't worth enough to help us out too much. I'm not going to talk about the club's financial situation. We've got no money whatsoever. Yet we've got the seventh highest wage bill. That just shows with the quality we've got. Right. Let's carry on. I know I know Winnell doesn't we've had a comment there from Aiden saying Winnell scoring goals. What's happening here? Winnell doesn't often score goals for Wednesday, but he actually got me some vital ones on my personal career. It was quite fun. I've got to just have a look, make sure I've registered everyone, because that'd be quite annoying if I got players I couldn't play. Yeah, everyone's in. Sorted. I've got a Wednesday save where we're a top six Premier League side, and it's genuinely a case of I set the team up the exact same as this. So, and we've just lost to Reading in the opening match, and we're probably about to lose to Barnsley. So, it's all about luck as well, and the bits, you know, the, the injuries you get as you're going through. Let's attend this press conference. I'm not willing to discuss tactics, but we are going to try and thrash them. It's not really a big match. It's not though, is it? It's Barnsley. Let's be honest. It's not huge. I d what? But the, the but the fact that is the added weight of expectation from the fans in matches like this can sometimes cause managers to crack a bit. But you seem to handle it pretty well. Can it be the same to said? Can the same be said? I can't bloody speak of John Coleman. Who's who's John Coleman? I don't really know. I don't really care. I think they're equally as important to our fans because nobody cares about the Barnsley match. Fine. Oh my God, how many questions? Can I do a black ball career on Football Manager? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe at some point. I might do some experiments because I'm going to bring the videos back as well. This These streams we're doing all sorts. But um, I am going to start doing the... The... Um, videos where I do the experiments to see what's going on. So they've got Woodrow injured. So he's clearly not playing. Show them to the weak foot. Don't know why he's even there if he's not playing. Have they actually got a striker? Or not? Okay. Let's just make sure this goes through. So, let's get ready for the match now. Oh my god, why has he come back out here? Stop talking to me.
Okay, so we're going into our first home match of the season. We are currently on minus one in goal difference. We're not doing that well. Let's praise Matty Longstaff for some good training there. Let's also have a go at Westwood for being terrible in training. Come on, Westwood, sort it out. I can see Harry Wilson. Jack, what are you trying to ask there, buddy? You asking what? You asking me to look for a player, or you just you just just naming players now? <laughs> Green <laughs> Greenwood has just started. For Man United in real life. And we've got him on the bench for Wednesday. That is absolutely amazing. I'm not being rude, guys. I'm trying to sort out my actual... Uh, my stream tags to try and get this, this chat working. But I think I might just have to leave it for next episode. Which is a little bit annoying. Let's just keep this going. Let's just get this team going while I do it. I'm still trying to sort out streams things, uh, the streaming things, because I've obviously not been streaming long on this channel. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna keep them going, and I'll learn as we go along about the stream gear, because it's my first sort of um, foray into actually streaming off my own equipment rather than using like PlayStation and stuff. So I expect nothing but to win from this match. Oh, just go away, send the assistant. I'm not talking to the press all the time. They're so annoying. Bannon. Going back through the comments, anyone I missed? What was the last Wednesday match I went to? Brentford? I've not been in a little while. I've been really busy with work. Brentford, I think. Which is ideal because we've been crap. Um, can I do streams more than once a week? Potentially not because I've got um, a really busy sort of schedule with work at the minute. I'm tempted to start a gaming channel because this has very much become a football focused channel so I'm thinking of maybe starting a gaming channel and streaming over on Twitch or something like that with a gaming channel obviously you're welcome to join if I do that I will mention it on the channel but I won't plug it as much here but I'm into gaming a lot more all sorts of games and I kind of like just being able to the idea of just sitting down having a few games and having a chat but I don't want to flood this channel with games now because even though it started as a gaming channel, it's become much more football focused. So it's gonna it's gonna stay that as well as general lifestyle. So it's gonna stay more current. It's not gonna go full gaming. Harris gets a goal for us. That is what we want at home. We need to be winning this. So that's pretty much what I want to be seeing. Let's keep on going. But yeah, I don't know. This might become a gaming channel. It probably won't. I honestly have no idea at the minute because this was my vlog channel and my football commentary and general commentary channel as Fletcher gets a second for us, bossing it as we do. So we'll we'll see what happens with it, but it's going to stay football for now um, and vlogs when I go on trips, things like that. And maybe I'll start a gaming channel and maybe that'll be Twitch only or something. And I'll play... I'll get to sit down with the PS5 and stuff's coming out this year. We'll see what happens there. They sky it. We are boss in Barnsley. This is exactly the kind of result we needed from this. I pretty much expected this as Harris gets a third. This is what I wanted to see, but it is only Barnsley. That ball work, the technical ball work that we've been putting in this week has been working with Harris getting a second there. Stephen Fletcher with one and Harris with two, and it's not even half time yet. Let's keep this going. In the dressing room. Watch us lose it 4-3 now. Keep going. Perfect debut to bring uh, Greenwood on a little in a little while for this. Passing it around the box. The higher tempo seem to have worked, seems to have worked, hitting them on it. Oh, Chaplin's in through for them, but Westwood picks it up. He was offside, 
So we they didn't even challenge us there. Well into the second half. Well, not well in, but we are getting in there now. I'll make a um, so I'll make a change pretty soon. I don't want Palmer getting booked though. We can ease off a little bit. Scott, I will have a look at the young players a little bit later on. If you could mention that at another point when I'm actually in a space to have a look, just mention the name and I'll I'll try and have a look if I see it later on. And that's the fourth. Harris has just got a hat trick against Barnsley. What is happening here? Can I use logs on Wednesday? Uh, can, do you mean can I vlog on the Wednesday City game? Um, my vlogging gear now is actually I use a proper camera and stuff, and they're getting really funny about you doing camera taking cameras into ground. So I'm not sure I'll be doing that sort of thing. I might still do it on my phone like I used to in the old day, but I don't know. I usually only vlog matches like that, and I kind of want to just experience that one again. Because I've vlogged everything that's big in that regard. Oh, the has picked up an injury. What are you doing, mate? You could have just sat off. You could have just sat off and it would have all be fine. And I've got no replacement for him. Whatsoever. <sighs> I could have put Tom Lees at right back. He never does that. Sammy's got to come back in at centre-back. That is not what I wanted. And then I am going to make a sub now. So Fletch has been doing well. Let's put on Mason Greenwood. See how well he does. I'm going to put Pelopessi on as our ball winning midfielder as well. Just to shore it up a little bit. Don't need any red cards. Connor Wickham on loan in real life. That would be very nice to happen. I do want to see that. Have I seen... Uh, Aiden asked if I've seen the 10 year season ticket thing we brought out. Yeah, I know, like, I've got 6k waiting in my pocket sort of thing. No. Oh, what? I'll piss off. I cannot make any more substitutions. We're going to have to play with 10 men. Because Dirty Barnsley have injured two of my players. Two of them. We'll play with a hole in the... Um, we'll have to play with a hole in the in the centre of attack and play it out to the wings. That's just annoying. Very defensive. Uh, this is stupid. Let's play it to the wings then. So focus the play down the wings. Bring it down. Last 10 minutes, just going to have to pass it about, keep possession, play it to the wingers, let them do some runs. That's brought me right down on this because that is going to affect us badly, which is not great. We just need to see it out without any more injuries, please. I'd be surprised if we keep a clean sheet, to be honest. I've gone very quiet because this is quite stressful. Okay, Westwood, you keep four minutes. Where'd you get that from? Was that when the ambulance came to pick up our players? Greenwood goes through, doesn't get through. I don't know what I'm going to do about our wing situation. I'm, oh, yeah, I'll have to. Okay. Joey Pelopes has just got a fifth for us, so it's not really affected the result. I'm just thinking about the season. We've lost our entire right line there. And I've got no money, and the transfer window's shut. And they've scored. We didn't even get the clean sheet. What is this? They come in. I'm annoyed at that. We won 5 1, but I'm annoyed we didn't keep a clean sheet. Smacks it from outside the box. Let's have a look how bad that is. It's all over. We 
Well done, boys. That's a lot better than you were doing. Now, I, this is going to be bad. Four to five weeks for Odebajo. Three to four weeks for Murphy. Ah, that is not good. Just random questions. I'm surprised they haven't asked me about the injuries yet. They didn't ask me about the injuries. Of course, great journalism. Well done. Let's see what we can do. So Palmer's going to go there. Thornley's going to get a run in the team. Unless, is Morgan Fox back yet? No, he's still still injured. Wonderful. Um, Adam Reach is going to get a run as a winger. Sam Winnell can come back in. But yeah, we're going to have to do that. That's the way we're going to have to make it work. Let's have a look. So we've seen... I'm going back to your comments, Scott. I've just scrolled through Arezzo. If I've got him loaded in the game, the under-19s, okay. I'll scout him. We'll send a... Oh, can I even send a scout out for him? Let's have a look. Development. I can't even send a scout out for him, can I? Get scout report. There we go. That's fine. Um, Donald Fisher. We can have a look there. This will be for the future. We can't bring any of these in now, unfortunately. Do you mean Donald Fisher? Not Donald. I assume you do. We'll scout him. He's going to be worth a bit more, unfortunately. Let's keep going. Don't get any more injuries, please. This could... Have we got a cup? I don't really want a cup match. I'm sounding like Klopp now. I don't really want to play in the cup. Why do I have to play in the cup? Threw his toys out the pram there, didn't he? So we've got a recovery day. No one injured? Can't see any injuries yet. That's that's not bad. Why is there so many rest days? Who is organising these training sessions? It's awful. They are paid to play football. Actually bring them in and play football. Stupid. I've got Preston, and then the next week I've got Preston. Is this an eggnog glass? I've just seen a comment saying, is this an eggnog glass? This is a PlayStation trophy because I like getting trophies but I don't get many of them because I don't have time I only platinum a game if I really really like it so I've got about 9 because <laughs> I've only had a PlayStation since PlayStation 4 and only 9 have gone yeah you know what I love that enough to platinum it but this was a present and I like it very much I'm not making a offer a defensive midfielder. That is not happening. <laughs> Look at this. Jack Hunt would be a good signing. Yes, Jack Hunt was a good signing. I miss him greatly, but we can't afford him now because we've sold him and he's worth triple what we sold him for. Borsato. Nope. Why did you even bring me in? Nor him. Thank you. I'll play a cup keeper against Preston. 
Then again, I'm meant to do all right in the cup, I think. Kadeem Harris and Forestieri, along with most of the Leeds team, have made it into Team of the Week. Even this game's biased to Leeds, but okay. Let's mark Maguire. Preston are one of them sides that can turn you over if you're not careful. That's the thing about him. Easily turn you over. Hi, Josh. We spoke about that a little bit earlier in the stream. I'm actually fully supportive of Monk. If the players aren't going to play for him, that's on them. They've been the same players. Monk's had no money to actually do anything with. I am behind Monk all the way right now. Uh, I'm just going to bring in a new keeper. We'll, br we'll bring in Dawson for the cup. Hi, Neil. How are you doing this evening, mate? Welcome to the stream. We are just about to play a cup match against Preston. I might play the lone players. We might put the lone players in, give Fletch a rest and stuff. This load time's going a little bit, going a little bit astray. Why is this taking so long to load? Come on, game, sort it out. Liam, Liam, this is not what I need right now. No, Liam. No, Liam. I will give you injections. Get through the match. I don't care if it's just a cut match. Oh, actually, no, maybe not. Oh, that was a bad mistake. I thought we didn't have Saturday on. Fuck's sake. I don't even think I can rest him now. We'll see. Right, so we're going to put Greenwood in for Fletcher. We're going to keep Forestieri because he needs to get used to that role. We haven't got much choice on the wingers, to be fair. We've not got, like, probably just tapping the mic. We've got, like, zero wingers. If we take Bannon out and bring in our new sign-in, let's bring in Kenny McLean, see how he does. Bring him in as an advanced playmaker as well. Let's see how he does. Reach is taking the armband. Right, we'll give that a go. I'm not too confident with this side, to be fair. But it is the cup, so we can test it out. Go out there and give these fans their money worth. And with Chancery prices, that's quite a lot of money, so get it sorted. Straight again, Thornley just takes uh, somebody out in the first minute. As you do. Does look like the field in quite a strong side, so we're going to have to be at it today. If we follow on from our 5 1 win at Barnsley, that won't be too bad. We are playing these in a little while as well, so it will be a good idea to get a feel for them. Thornley across. No one's on the end of that. We'll see how good our loan signings are now with Greenwood and McLean in the side. We've got Connolly on, Connolly on the bench as well, so we can bring Connolly on if we need to. Palmer to Forestieri. We're dinking it about on the edge of the box nice enough. We just need to find that opening. As Thornley got it round there, he gets it to Forestieri, he whacks it at the keeper, straight at the keeper there. Reach is lacking in match sharpness. I don't think he's going to make it all the way through the match, so that is something to consider as we go for it. We do need to be doing a little bit better. Sort it out. Oh, Greenwood. Greenwood whacks one from a free kick. Can do a little bit better from that, though, I think. Greenwood again. Come on, lad. If you're on free kicks, you better stop getting them on target. Not hitting the first man, please. Coming up to half time. We are we've had seven shots, but one on target, and I've got a feeling this is gonna be the Wednesday thing where they have What did I literally just say? <sighs> Great save, Dawson. Well done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Jesus Christ. Sheffield Wednesday Football Club. Yes, only has been quite error prone today, but I've got no choice. We've got no players. They're all injured. Get out there and do something about it. Ah. <sighs> Attack them. Attack them. Greenwood. Come on. Would I consider doing these streams more often or maybe uploading clips onto YouTube? It depends how well they do, because at the minute... Oh, do right, that's it. That's the cup gone then. We can make the subs. Dawson's just been crap. Absolute crap. I'm going to put Mason Greenwood behind Connolly, see if that does something. Um, at the minute, it depends. I want to build up a few people here a little bit more on the weekly, see how well the streams do, and then see how well the videos do afterwards. And if it's something that's got a lot of interest, then I'd stream a little bit more. Yeah, it's one of those where I'm doing this weekly because I want to get... I don't want the channel to sort of just go inactive when I'm really busy, so I thought if I'm streaming, I don't have to do any of the edit. Oh, fuck off. Not you, Josh. Preston. Just, just... You know you said upload some highlights to YouTube. What are they? What are they with this? I'm getting... I know it's the cup and I've made changes, but I haven't made that many changes. I'll use my counter-attacking formation, but it's way too late. I shouldn't be having to play a counter-attacking formation against Preston! Come on! This is pathetic! I'm just, I'm a little bit perplexed, boys. Let's see if this gets any goals out of it. I do, I use this formation a fair bit when we're playing big sides. Not Preston. It gets a goal. We got one back. It's the comeback on. I might have to play this against Preston. Maybe they've got the maybe have they've got a better attacking threat than Wednesday in this. And Dawson's just not had a good game whatsoever. That's not helped anything. Can we get a second just to just to make it feel a little bit better? No, but we have been better since we've come on this counter attack. This has seemed to work, so we have got the um the tactic going there. Darnell Fisher, that was the guy that was suggested by one of you guys earlier. He's coming on to just lap it all this up. <sighs> that was awful. That was absolutely awful. Right. I'm bringing them into training tomorrow. And they're working really hard. On defending. So the counter attack seemed to work against them, but it was just too little, too late. We conceded some really, really poor goals. So Dawson, you're never getting near that team again, mate. Unlucky. McLean, you didn't show me much. You did not show me much. You do play well as an advanced playmaker. You're actually better than Bannon as an advanced playmaker. Um, let's just swap to that and actually go to what it's meant to be cool I'm well well annoyed with that 
even though it's just the cup, it still annoys me whenever Wednesday lose anything, even if it's not real. I've got an issue with it. Right, you offer, come back in and actually do something for us, please. That would be ideal. Get Steve Bruce in. Sod off, Neil. Sod off. <laughs> there ain't enough kebabs around the place. Oh, I don't like pies. I prefer kebabs. Good donna kebab. <laughs> Steve. Right. I'm going to get sacked. This isn't going to be a Wednesday career, though, for many more uh, episodes, guys. Handle the briefing. Who are we even playing? Millwall. Let's lose this one as well. Oh! Right. This team are scared of Millwall. They don't want to adopt a positive mentality. It's too attacking, considering the opposition. It's Millwall. Hey, X33X, how you doing, buddy? You, I must say, you've joined the stream at quite, quite an interesting time. We're being a bit shit. We've lost one in the league. We've won the other one quite considerably, but we've just lost in the cup, which is not ideal. Paul Jones, who even are you? Get it sorted. Right, half an hour left of the stream. Come on, we've got Millwall and Luton and we've got some more coming up. We can do this. We can do this. I'm very well, thank you, X33X, apart from the ups and downs of being Sheffield Wednesday's manager currently. Aiden, they are scared of the Millwall fans more than the players. Well, that's not very nice towards the Millwall fans. I don't know what you're trying to insinuate, that they've got some sort of reputation for something to do with... Oh, what is it again? No, I just think their fans are delightful. That's what That's what often... Uh, uh, don't people say that Millwall fans and Leeds fans, they're just, just delightful? Let's be honest, though, every fan base has got those idiots, so you can't really tarnish a whole club. I do I do know the stigma amount around Millwall, but can you imagine if you were one of the Millwall fans that wasn't that? That would be quite frustrating. I expect to win today, and I expect quality finishing, and I also expect defensive work. You know, actual defensive work, that would be amazing. We need to close down some of these players. Show them the weaker foot and just press them. Don't know if they've got much here. They are in bad form, which is possibly helpful. But yet again, we are Sheffield Wednesday. That doesn't always mean anything, really. It means they've got more of a chance to win. Yeah, Josh, I know where all the stats are, but the thing is... Half of that depends on your tactical nature of your and your strength of your staff. So sometimes the information's not always amazing when there's a little Barry Bannon with an absolute screamer there. Sorry, just let's let's have another look at this. Thornley whacks it to Bannon at uh, Forestieri, and Bannon just screamer of a left foot into the bottom right. That is how you want to start that. But yeah, I know about the tactics screen that says where your tactics could improve things like that. Half of the time the game's wrong. Half of the time the players are wrong. Like, it'll say I've got everything set up wrong, but I'm like, how have I? When it's like, when I can see this, literally, I can see that I, my formation will boss that team. And then I get into the game and it actually does. I think that's part of it. The game does try and throw you off in, in certain ways. But it also helps you in other aspects. We do need to keep hold of this though, please, boys. Because they have had a couple of shots on target and Westwood has had to make a couple of saves. Not the hardest saves, but I don't want to risk it. Uh, 
Does Tango count as one of the fans? Tango is a dedicated Wednesday fan. Never met the man. Never really had much... I've never really stood near him, to be fair. But um, I will never slag off another Wednesday fan unless they're a bit of a arse to myself. And then, yes, I will. Um, I, my Chris Waddle's a good shout, Neil, for favourite Wednesday player. For a bit, bit older than my time, unfortunately. But I don't... I'd, I'd need to think about that one. That's a little bit more than just a throwaway comment. Definitely. Oh, for fuck. Set piece. Set. P- Why doesn't Westwood move? Why doesn't any of the men around him actually go and do something about that? <sighs> Come on. We can still win this. Or lose it. Or get a pen- give them a penalty. What are you doing? Is it done yet? Is the game over yet? Sheffield Wednesday <laughs> Football Club. What the fuck was that? It just... I just... What? What are you doing? I, I, I have no words. I don't... Right, what I don't understand is how things can work so well on one save with the exact same settings and then I just come into another save and it just all falls apart. I thought starting this would be a good one because I know this team and I know these... <sighs> Right. Let's bring Mason Greenwood on. We've got to do something about this. We've got to attack. We've got no choice. We possibly might concede more. But let's bring it up. Run at the defence. Bring the pass into space. Get, Get stuck in. And tight and mark them. Let's go. Well, I can't wait, guys, until I get sacked and start managing a non-league team. That'll be great. It's all part of the adventure, I guess. <laughs> Bannon to Harris. Harris through. I wonder how long they'd give me if... What is Thornley doing at left back? Look at this. Watch this! <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Fucking hell! I don't know what to say anymore! Because we can't go counter-attacking now because they're not attacking us enough for that. I I just... It's Millwall. I'm going to sack myself at this rate. Sam Winnell. Come on. I, d- I just... Well, at least it'll be entertaining watching me get smashed 5-0 every week. I feel like just reloading my Premier League save. Mason Green, uh, Aaron Connolly gets a goal for us. Can we snatch something in the last few minutes? This shouldn't be a loss, but we did lose this match in real life, in fairness, so it's true to form. Oh, Connolly nearly gets a third for us. We need, come on, we can get back in this, just smash it. Palmer. So close. That's really unfortunate because we do deserve something out of this game and we're not going to get it. They're just stupid penalty to give away and Thornley at left back just completely did us. Completely did us. 
I'm going to throw football boots at their face. At their face. Winnell is now one appearance away from having to pay Barnsley 250k. Oh dear. Yes, Bannon's playing well. It's a shame the rest of the team are absolutely dog shit. Let's have a look. Is Fox still injured? He is. We've got to win this Luton match now. I'm glad I didn't say I'm getting the team promoted because we're not getting this team promoted. There is nothing there. I don't know what the finance would be next season either. I don't know what we could do money-wise. It's not looking good, boys and girls. It's just... It's just not. I made some great signings. We just... I think we we really struggled for Murphy's injury and things like that. We need to beat... Honestly, if we don't beat Le Luton, I'm, I should resign. Let's be honest. Gotta watch Izzy Brown. Gotta watch him. Yeah, Aiden, I saw that. Uh, Richarlison getting... It was like 85 million, 100 million euros or something, wasn't it? That's just stupid money. And they turned it down, apparently. Which is stupid in itself. I wouldn't see why they'd turn that sort of money down, even though I guess Coman's got... Coman? What am I on about? Words. Coman's not been there for quite a while, James. Ancelotti, I guess he's got... Um, a vision of turning Everton into something more than they've been for a while. Right. I'm getting sacked on this. Hi, Lucas. Yeah, FIFA 20 is still broken, which is why I'm on this game. I am not touching FIFA 20. I've even stopped playing it in my own time, which is sad. I'll come back to it. FIFA, if you want to sponsor me and you want to send me across to EA Play events, I'll come back for your next game. But for now, I'm just getting a lot of bugs in career mode. So, yeah, I'm not coming back at the minute. Um, Shanklin wouldn't be bad at all. We'll definitely put him on the shortlist. Curtis Jones can be a Premier League player in the future. We'll put him on there because he might be a good one to bring in. But I think um, Liverpool will want a bit of money for him. Right, let's try to beat Luton. I can't believe I'm saying try. Neil, any word on Conor Wickham? The latest I've heard is we don't want to pay all his wages and Cardiff are prepared to, apparently. Cardiff are the ones that might be going in for him. And I've seen Josh has just said this in the chat as well. But we don't want to... Wickham's preferred choice would be to us. But he doesn't really have much say in that if we're not going to pay all his wages. He's on a lot. I heard he's on like nearly 70k there. So I can see why. But... We haven't got parachute payments and we're in financial trouble, so I can see why it wouldn't happen. Right, come on. Go and win, because I've had enough of you. Sort it out. If we lose this, I'm literally going to resign. It's going to happen now. And I just say, when I played this first through on my own, this this career, I got Wednesday promoted in the first season. I signed Isaac Success on loan and a couple of others. 
and they were enough with an attacking style to get us the goals. down have had seven shots hang on hang on why is our team knackered and we'll we're getting all right I'm at, I can't believe I'm about to do this. I'm about to start playing. I'm about to start playing a counter-attacking team against Luton Town because they are playing us off the park. What is happening? I just I've I've lost the will, mate. I just <laughs> right just just go out and do something cuz this is ridiculous we need to do something a little bit more come on bring back Joss Neil you you're rinsing me I'm fine it's just there's the players it's all the players I'm telling you, it's not me. It's the players. Blame the players. Where's your passion, lads? Do you even want to win this match? Go and bloody win it. We can't lose this. We can't lose it. But we are losing it. <sighs> um, who's had the worst game here? Right, Reach is knackered. Don't understand why they're so tight. Oh, the bloody assistants playing them in. I oh right, I know what's happened. That's so amateur. The I selected them for the 23rd but I meant to until match fit so it'll have selected them for all of them we've got a penalty we're gonna miss it aren't we no we've got a goal Bannon equalizers yes we've got a goal against Luton Town it can happen did anyone march for that no they didn't right come on Come on. Um I've got a really tired player in Thornley, so I'm just gonna it's not an ideal change putting Palapesi at the back, but I, I feel like Thornley is about to break something and I'm quite concerned. Uh, we've just got to hold this off now. See if we can do them on the counter. I I'm actually settling for a draw here, which is poor. Very poor. But I need to make sure they're not setting these first team players available for the reserve squad because that's just knackered us in this match. That's cost us it. Which is stupid. That was poor. That was absolutely shocking. Right, let's go back into the... Um, let's train you, because you clearly can't finish your dinner. Let's go into... Where is it? Where's the reserve squad thing? Is it just in squads, isn't it? Have a look. Uh, 
let's have a look here. So reach. Yeah, he's available for the reserve squad. I don't want that. So it's it's automatically done reach. Who else? I don't know how to mass do this. If anybody knows how to mass do this in comments so I don't have to do it right now, please tell me. Because I'm going to look like an idiot otherwise. That is changing it, right? Yeah, it could. It's taking the ticks off. So it's him. Luongo as well. Who else has been selected for it? Palmer. That explains so much. So these players coming out absolutely knackered because they've been playing 90 minutes for the 23s. Why would why would the game think, oh, you know what, let's do that? Because I know I ticked to do it, but I thought the drop-down menu I went to is usually the one where it says until ma match fit. I'm either having a stroke... Yeah, let's be honest, that's probably what's going on. I'm just losing my brain power right now. We've just drawn with Luton. It is not, it's not even a good week to be a Wednesday fan virtually. We can't even win on a game. Right, so Fox will be back soon, hopefully. Sam as well. Loads of these. Just take them off. So Josh has just said that we're still in the hunt for Wickham. It's just been tweeted out. If that's the case, then we need to do something quick because right now we'll be in trouble if we don't if we don't get on it quick. Because I reckon Cardiff could have him. Yeah, I know his wife's a Wednesday fan and stuff, and she'll be like, "Go to Wednesday," but also you got to think he wants game time. He wants to get back playing. Then again, he plays for Palace, doesn't he? So it's a bit weird that he's coming, he's available for loan when his Hodgson's played him a little bit. Am I going to Barnsley away? Is that the one where I've got an event on the day? No, that's the one I couldn't get tickets for, unfortunately, because I left it too late, because I thought I was going with a mate, and then I didn't, so something messed up there. I'm not going to Barnsley away because of that, and I believe it's sold out now. Yes, Josh, Hodgson is probably getting his sharpness up before sending him out. That's actually a very good point. That is probably exactly what is happening. Right, we're going to play this Preston match and then we're going to end the stream for today because I'm sick of losing and I'm probably going to end it on a loss. But if we can beat Preston away, well, you never know. We need to put these youth ones on the loan list. Troy Parrott is not at the level of us at the minute, uh, League One level. De Cruz is a championship quality. We'll add him to the shortlist because he's actually a Wednesday player at the minute. Can we even loan him? Oh, he's on loan anyway. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. We could just cheat and put him in our side. I've got this. We could just move him to the club. Do you want me to put De Cruz in the club, guys? Let me know in the comments now. Should I move him into the club because he is actually a Wednesday player? Now we've just signed him. Just for today's thing, shall we move him to the Wednesday side and start using him, see what he's like? Let me know, like, in the next minute, and I'll just sit here, twiddle my thumbs, like this, while I await what you think. Because if we... Um, because the great thing about having the editor is I can just whack him in and we can see if he's any good. We do need a winger as well. He would be a good shout. Yeah, that's cool, Leighton. I hope you enjoy the match at Barnsley. It should be a win for us. Awesome. Right, cool. I can see a lot of yeses there. Let's move De Cruz into the side. So, 
So, all oh, right, I can't do a free transfer. Oh, I'll just do a free transfer. Sod it. Sod it. There we go. It's a Wednesday player now. Cool. Yes, very good. This could be quite good. Let's let's put him in with the rest of the lads. Let's take Winnell off the... Sorry, Winnell. Oh, I can't register him. Is there any way to cheat that? Cheat registration? Oh, allow squad re registration any time. So we're going to pretend I did this earlier, okay? Two seconds. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? De Cruz. Cool. In. Confirm selection. Then I'm going to turn that off because I'm not actually going to cheat in this career mode. But we've brought him in. Okay. So. Let's put him on the bench for now. Neil says his son saw him... It saw the Blackburn result and said he's supporting Liverpool. I wouldn't blame anyone for supporting Liverpool over Wednesday at this time. At that age. Um, at any age, to be fair. Obviously, I don't know how old your son is, but it's one of those where I'd be like, I've got a lot of mates that support Liverpool because, as I said a little bit earlier in the stream, I live there. And it's very annoying when they're doing amazingly well. I do actually have a soft spot for Liverpool as a club. I, I would say they're probably my Premier... If I had to say a Premier League team, which I don't believe in doing, they would be one of my favourites. They would be... If I had to pick a Premier League team, they would be it because of the time I spent in the city and things like that. Um, and they are... I do I do like watching them. A lot of people say they um, don't like to... They're not always the best team to watch because they're last-minute winners and things like that, but I actually quite like watching them. Donald Fish is a good player. We'll add him to the shortlist. I'm going to attack Preston and see how badly it goes. We need a win. Ah, he's eight. Neil, are you, are you, are you going to buy him a Liverpool shirt? Is it going to happen or are you, is he is he destined to support Wednesday forever? I sometimes look back at the family that influenced me for that. I'm like, why? Why did you take me to a... 3-0 Colchester loss is my first is my first um, Wednesday match and then suffer me to that and then sometimes I also love that I've got a club that is close to where I am well not as close as it is nowadays a bit further away now but when I grew up and things like that and being able to go and season ticket things like that that is the best thing about it Whereas Liverpool, if I support a Premier League side, I, I know a few Wednesday fans who are like, oh, I'm a Man United fan, I'm a Wednesday fan. I'm like, well, no, you're not, though, are you? You you, you can't really be both. They're both massive kids. Uh, kids, most massive. It's because you put, you speak to, we're talking about kids there. Not massive kids, they're both massive clubs. So you can't support both, in my opinion. You can have a... Favor favorability for a certain club like I quite like Liverpool but and if I had to pick a Premier League side at the minute I would pick Liverpool but that doesn't mean I'd ever say I'm a Liverpool fan I think you can support your close close club like if it's a non-league team you can do that I think that's fair. And then if the non-league team comes big, that's where you'd get the sort of... Say Salford, if you support Salford as your second team and you live there, and then Salford will get it becoming in the championship, that's where those lines blur a little bit. And I think I'd allow that, depending on how long you'd support other clubs for. I'd allow it like I've got any say in it whatsoever. But, you know, right, let's do this before the stream ends today. So let's get battered by Preston. Here we go. I've not actually put any opposition instructions in because I'm clearly having a massive stroke today. Let's press that. Weaker foot. Weaker foot. Weaker foot. Just, just bring them down, please. Mark them. We're going to get red cards today. I can feel it. Right, go. We need to win. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. That's all that really matters. 
just get a couple of goals for us. We have got a new signings to try out a little bit later on. We've had a shot. That's not a bad start. Come on. First 10 minutes, I'm going to start demanding more because they've had a shot. We've had two shots, one on target. And they've got a free kick, and Westwood goes for it, but it goes over anyway. Can't be fouling the box. Hang on. Oh, I thought Borna had got a goal then, because my, my mouse had got a goal. I was like, hang on, it's nil-nil. What did I miss? But no. Free kick on the outside of the box. Can we get it in? Oyofa's got it on the back. Borna, oh no, we need people back now. Keep it at the back. Do not lose it there, Westwood. Ayofa punts it up forward, but we can't keep hold of it. Do not lose it there. Green's coming in. Goal! God. Okay, there was a few late challenges there. That could have been bad in the box. And now it's a goal kick. It's calmed down a little bit, but I did not like that run of play there. I thought we were going to get punished. We could have easily got punished. Forestieri goes in. We still got it on the outside of the box. Whack it in. There, throw. Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola is a question I've been asked by Leighton, and I th would say Jurgen Klopp seems more like a dude I'd want managing my club. Guardiola seems like he needs a lot of money. A lot of money. So, I think unless you're one of those oil clubs, you're going to struggle. We owe Preston. Go and get them. Go and smash them. That's not smashing them, boys. Oh, bloody hell. What's this, though? He's barely on side. We're 17th. Oh, yeah, let him through again. Honestly, I don't understand how it falls apart like that. Manchester United and Manchester City. I used to say City because they were the underdogs for ages, but now I don't even know. I am fed up with this Wednesday side. Should I resign and go to another club? It's just... Absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. Let's um, let's change things up. Let's go. F We've got to go counter-attacking. Now, I thought, I thought this squad would actually do something for us here. I thought they'd come out of the woodwork and think, you know what? We need to put a shift in. But no. They've come out and they've been dog crap. I'm actually going to just change all our front line. Give the new boys and the loan signings a chance to come out and actually do something for us however I've just realised I've brought them onto a wrong formation whoops I can't change that either means I can I can do that though whack them round okay can we get a goal back at least no Thank you, Neil. I don't know if you've been sarcastic about my performance, but thank you for watching live. I appreciate you coming in. Pep is always good with advice, Josh, I agree. Be interesting to see what happens if I... I, I think we'll keep going on Wednesday until I get sacked, but if this carries on, I'm, de I'm getting sacked. There's no doubt about it. I'm going to get sacked. This team has just got no fight. Whatsoever. So, quite like Gary Monk, it's all the players. I've done nothing wrong. And, yeah. Yeah. Being a Wednesday fan is clearly contagious, even on video games. That is all she wrote for this week, though, guys. 
Thank you so much for coming in, spending some time with me this evening. Next week, we will be back. We were going to pick up this shambles of a career and see what happens with it. I don't think we're going to be in the job very much longer. We might have a look for other options. But for now, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, do all those things. Make sure you like the video, actually, because that really helps me out. Do all those things and keep watching right here on Dexterity Box.